I want to launch an application, so I'm going to import the OS system, the OS module. And I'm going to say OS, and you've got a system module in there, and I, this is what I want you to do. Single quotes. Start PBrush. And when PBrush starts, I want you to go and load h colon backslash backslash gbool 2.bmp single quote close parens and let's see if the system is smart enough to load up pbrush and then execute pbrush and then load gbool 2.bmp which is in my h drive which I didn't put two slashes there so I'm fired there we go and load that into a pbrush let's see if it can do that and I hit enter cannot find pbrush oh no p <laughs> that's why I spelled it wrong wow I'm fired it's pbrush with an r okie dokie let's see what happens now oh there we go in it comes. There is my photo. Let's make him a little bit bigger there. There we go. And so I can fit him in there, let's do this image. And I'll uh, stretch and skew this by 80. That'll squeeze him in. And then you can see him real easy. I'll do a file save. Well, that's super duper good. Okay. So that worked. But, well, if it's smart enough to execute PBrush and load this guy in, is it smart enough to just let me say os.system uh, start um, gbool2.bmp? Single quote, close prints. Will it know to go to PBrush or will it find the default image viewer and load gbool2.bmp into it? Let's see. Enter. Uh oh. Cannot find gbool2.bmp. Oh, it's because I forgot. Oh no, I did it again. What did I forgot to do? Forget to do. I forgot to put in the location. H colon back back G bull two. Okay, that'll work now. And oh bingo, up it comes. Right there. So the trick was <laughs> be specific about your command. Oh is that system start in single quote start H colon backslash backslash G bull two dot BMP all single quotes, close friends, and then it worked. And there it is. That is just amazing. Well, wait a minute. If it's smart enough to do that, then I have this uh, book, this PDF file, also in my H drive, called, which is an ancient Greek text, uh, Attic Greek, going back a couple of thousand years. Um, let's see if we can get that to boot up in uh, Adobe. All right. It's in the H colon uh, backslash backslash. Uh, it's, yeah, it's at the same directory. And the name of it is, oops, I put that single quote in there. It's uh, intro to ancient greek dot pdf now let's say the system is smart enough to take this file and load it into the default pdf viewer that i have here we go hit enter and wow up it comes that is just amazing whoops I closed the file. That was good. <laughs> that was an accident. Do it again. 
how it comes. Hopefully I will close the file again. I almost did. Uh, there we go. And down, and there it is. Intro to Ancient Greek. Wow. Scroll down through here, and you can see the pages of the book. Let's jump down a little bit, make sure this is the right book. Yes, it is. Let's blow this up a bit so we can see this 200%. Wow, this is it. Suke, life or the force of life. Wow, that's great stuff. This is my ancient Greek book. Pideon from Pice. Child stem. Oh, very good. Exciting stuff. Ho Uranos, the heavens. To Pideon, He Boule. To Metron. Hey, Gnome, Wolf Thanatos, Wolf Philos. Wow, cool stuff. Intro to Ancient Greek. Opened up by Python using the OS dot system. Wow, that is amazing. And that's about all I want to talk about today. This is George Bull saying bye bye. <laughs>